The total of solar eclipse just a week away, and a well-known astrophysicist is asking everyone to put away their smartphones and watch. That's going to be a tough one for uh, people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. You better convince me here. And you also have to keep an eye on your pets. Reagan Meggie asked Neil deGrasse Tyson for tips on how to safely watch this amazing phenomenon. Next Monday, the sun will take center stage across the country as millions will witness a total solar eclipse. It's this magical idea that you have this connection to the moon and the sun that you have no other time in your life. Eclipse excitement is building at the American Museum of Natural History on the Upper West Side. Well-known astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson was there, talking about the rare event that hasn't been seen in the U.S. since 1979. There is no excuse. There's nothing you can say to justify not going to the eclipse. During the total solar eclipse, the moon will line up perfectly between the Earth and the sun, but only a 70 mile wide path stretching from Oregon to South Carolina will be in the path of totality. Your skies will go dark, stars will come out, planets will start to become visible. There are certain rituals that animals go through going to roost, going, returning home to their nests. You'll see this behavior as the sky darkens, and then it brightens up again, and they just freak out. In New York, we'll experience a partial eclipse. 70% of the sun will be blocked at 2.44 in the afternoon. If you don't have eclipse glasses, don't worry. Run to your kitchen and grab a colander or even a spatula with holes in it. Also a white piece of paper. Then head outside in an open area and put the item over that paper. Soon, those circles will become crescents as the moon passes in front of the sun. I hope I'll remember it forever. I think it's an experience that a lot of people treasure, and uh, I, th I hope that I will too. The eclipse will begin at 12.30 here in New York and end at 4 in the afternoon. On the Upper West Side, Reagan Meggie, Fox 5 News.